paint pot. This is going to ensure that the eyeshadows show up very pigmented and last all day long. All the shadows I'm using today are from the Morphe 35B palette and I highly recommend this palette if you're into creating colorful makeup looks. I'm taking a hot pink first on a fluffy brush and I'm just buffing this into my crease. I always like to start out with the transition shade first and then create a gradient effect by fading down into the deepest shade. So I just kept buffing this until it was nice and pink and super blown out and blended out really, really nicely. It's essential to take all the time you need when doing a cut crease. Even for me, this usually takes a while until the final result is achieved. So take your time because creating a cut crease is a journey and it definitely takes a lot of time. So next you're going to want to make sure you're using a pencil brush or a very small flat brush. I'm going to be picking up a medium purple shade and here I'm going to start cutting that crease. To really make that cut crease stand out, you need to go above your actual crease line. So essentially you'll be creating a whole new crease all together. The higher up the line starts, the more emphasized your lid will look. I like to keep my cut crease open and this leaves some room for a wing if you did want to add that in. If your line isn't very straight at first, that's okay because we are going to go back in with concealer later and this is going to clean everything up. I like to start out pretty high and angle my brush upwards so I can fade that purple into the pink. For the final steps of the cut crease, I like to go into the darkest shade, which today is going to be a deep dark purple. I like to place this at the lowest point of the crease we created and lightly fade this up. The more colors you blend, the more gradient it will look. And when we add in the concealer, the darkest and lightest points of this eyeshadow will be right next to each other, creating a lot of contrast and making your eyes look very, very large and overall just really, really big. Next, I just like to go in and blend everything a little further, and I picked up some more of that hot pink shade for blending. Next, I'm going to go in and grab a white, and I'm going to be using this as the highlight today. I'm using this on the brow bone to make everything look a little bit more seamless and just smooth together really, really well. So next, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair, and I'm going to be sweeping this onto the lid bringing it up against our cut crease. This is going to create a base for the shadow to stick to, as well as really carve out that crease. After I lay down the concealer, I'm gonna go into the matte white shade I used on the brow bone, and I'm using this on a flat brush. I'm just going to pack this directly onto the lid. After you apply your lid shade, you can always go back into the deep purple to perfect everything, and make sure that the lid color and the crease are not over blending into each other. So next I'm going to apply some mascara and then add some false lashes. The lashes I'm using today are Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. They're really spiky and they have some spaces that allow you to see the eyeshadow really well, which is why I chose them for this look. I'm going to be taking a purple eyeliner and applying this right into my waterline and slightly bringing this onto the lash line as well. Next I'm going to take that medium purple on a small pencil brush and buff this into the lash line to smoke it out a bit. And then for the final step of the eye look, I'm going to apply some mascara to the bottom lashes. To finish off the face, I already have my foundation and concealer on, so I'm going to bronze using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I'm taking the darker contouring shade on a Morphe E4 brush. I'm going to be buffing this all around my face to create some warmth and also some structure. I'm going to take the lighter shade and highlight under my eyes and also on my forehead and my chin to highlight and draw in some contrast. So going back into the darker shade, I'm going to be contouring my nose and I'm just going to be drawing two straight lines down my nose and then bringing this color onto the sides a little bit. To blend out, I'm going to be taking a smaller fluffy brush and the highlight shade I used before, I'm just going to buff this right in over that contour to make everything look seamless and to make those lines look less harsh. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in pearlescent pink, which is so beautiful. It's a really nice rosy color and I'm just going to lightly dust this onto the apples of my cheeks and back into the contour as well. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Highlight in Boozy Brunch, which looks like a really gorgeous gold. I'm just going to be applying this to my cheekbones and also around my forehead. 
I also like to take this on the bridge of my nose and also the tip of my nose very lightly using my fingertips. For lips, I decided to go with a really pretty lavender shade, which is super unique. This is the CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte in Cosmo Kitty, and I really, really love this purple because it is very different from your typical purple. It's very lavender, it's very light, but it also makes a really nice statement and goes really good with this cut crease look.